What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back here at the Kodak Coliseum with Northview Cougars versus Cock County. Hey, Landon, this is going to be a good matchup. Both teams split the series so far. No, Northview is 2-1 to one in the whole season. They split the regular season. Yeah, either way, though, Cock County evenly and Northview pretty evenly matched teams. Last time we were here, though, Northview really got the upper hand there. What do you think Cock County has to do to adjust to that tonight? They adjusted very well in the second half, mainly the fourth quarter. And if they play like they did in the fourth quarter, it might be the Lady Red holding up that regional championship. Yeah, Northview, such a dominant postseason this year. Been impressive and kind of feel like this is kind of the one win that you need to cap off a great run for them. But it all comes down to this. And we're almost at that time for the national anthem. Northview Band, an impressive display of the national anthem. And right now, what an environment it is in here right now. Big student section. Got the band flowing. And now we're going to get to the starting lineups. First, our Lady Cougars. Lady Red. Oh, I'm a little out of it tonight. It's all good. For the Lady Red, we got McNeely, starting point guard. Then we have Clevenger, Carter, right here. Mr. Puckett's upped our game a little bit. Got the graphic on screen. Shout out, Mr. Puckett. And now, time for the Lady Cougars. That's a roster we probably won't have trouble remembering. Probably not. First off, starting point guard, Reagan Brown. 
number 10, Jordan White, has had a phenomenal postseason, and Savannah Bates coming off a great night on Monday. Cameron Brown, the MVP of the region, or district, sorry. And then Josie Horner. A lot of emotions, a lot of intensity going into this game. You ought to feel a lot of pressure for both teams right now. One game to decide a championship. Two greats. Should be a good one here. Todd County has a great showing tonight. They got a great student section and everything. Should be a really great game. All right, it's going to be Carmichael and Bates on the tip. Carmichael gets the edge. It's going to be Kitchen to run it up the court. She's going to be defended by Reagan. Kitchen looking, finds McNeely. McNeely slings it over. It's back to Carmichael. Here's Clevenger. Rolls out, stops, turns it over. Jordan White picks it off. Jordan White running up the court. Gives it to Cameron Brown for three. No good. Josie fights for the rebound. It's got by Savannah. Northview, been great offensive rebounding as Reagan takes the three. It's no good. Rebound Cock County. That was a great defensive possession by the Lady Cougars and the Lady Red on both of their first possessions. Kitchen, she's going to sling it over to Reed. Clevenger looks to drive in, slings it over for the three. No good. It's going to be rebounded Cock County. Kitchen, what a re uh, rebound. As Cock County takes a three, it's no good. Josie with the rebound. Reagan gives it to Jordan, and Northview kind of slowing down their pace a little bit from the first two possessions. Still 0 0. Josie looking. Cuts. No good on the easy bucket. They've been running that play all postseason, and, and it's been working. Just Josie looked weird coming off her hand on the finish. Ooh, as Clevenger almost turns it over, Kitchen gets it back, defended by Jordan. Kitchen looking. Thought she was going to take the three for a second. Both teams kind of slowing down the pace right now as Clevenger calls for the ball. Gets it over to Reed. Reed drives in on Josie and gets blocked. Grabs her own miss, and she's going to get to the line. That was a good, that was a good block by Josie. Got to make them work for those points, you know. Can't let her get the easy two, so despite the foul right there, can't really complain on the go through defensive end. And Reed drains the first one, despite the student section in the band making it real tough. Second one is up, and it's good. Lady Red take a two-point lead. Jordan White the other way with it, driving down the lane. Gives it to Reagan. Reagan going to get a traveling call. Took an extra step. Not the turnover you want, but no need to get real worried. Still early. Cock County the other way with it. Clevenger gets it wide open. Pump Makes bait. Ooh. That's a good move to create space That's and a hit an open shot. Textbook basketball right there. Use the pump fake to perfection and gets the open shot. Knocks it down. Four-point lead for Cock County now. Lady Cougars got to figure something out. Jordan White crosses over. Hands it off to Reagan. Reagan to Bates. Bates to Brown. Josie gets it in the paint and knocks down the jumper. It's a big move by Josie Horner. And it looks like, ooh, Northview gets the turnover. Great hustle by Savannah Bates, and it goes off the foot of McNeely. McNeely was out of bounds whenever she touched it. Right there, Savannah Bates all over that play right there. Love the intensity. 
Norfew coming the other way with it. It's going to be Savannah Bates at the wing. Defended by Reed. Gives it to White. Kitchens trying to cover White. She's going to drive in, hand it back to Cameron Brown. Cameron Brown defended by Clevenger. Hands it to Josie for the mid-range shot. It's airballed. Rebound McNeely. You could tell the game plan early is to get Josie the ball. Yeah, that's not really a shot we see Josie take that much. And great defense right there as Josie makes McNeely's shot a whole lot more difficult. Reagan's going to get it. Going to take that one out. Josie slings it over to Cameron Brown on the left wing. Cameron gives it to Reagan. Reagan drives in, dishes it to White. White spinning. Gets Reagan the open three. She takes the shot. No good. Rebound Josie. Josie puts up the tough shot and gets to the line. That's a good rebound by Josie. They're going to need a lot of second chance points to make it a really good game and win. This has been kind of Northview's uh, formula for success this uh, postseason has been them being able to get second chance opportunities and turn them into points as Josie knocks down the first bucket. This one to tie, it's good. 4-4 four, four, the score with about four minutes remaining. Low scoring affair right now, Cock County pushing the pace. Clevenger gets double teamed, gives it to Reed, Reed to Kitchens. 3.55 remaining and only eight combined points from the two teams, a defensive classic showcase tonight. Kitchens just sort of setting something up, looking. Clevenger gonna give it back to her, back to Clevenger. Ooh, Carmichael with the and one. And the Lady Red playing with a lot more confidence than they did last last week, didn't aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're getting it to the rim and finishing over Josie. And they look like they figured it out since the last time they played. No good on the free throw, and they get their own miss. Clevenger's going to give it to Kitchens. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger with the three and knocks it down. Now, great defense on that three. And Cock County's going to take a five-point lead now. Looks like we're going to have some sub substitutions. We're going to have McKenna Russell and Natavia Oliver come in. Natavia last night. Had a real good performance, 10 points. Coming off the bench, can't really complain. Northview's going to need her to produce some good production. Here we go, Jordan White taking it in the lane. Natavia takes the shot. It's up and good. Lucky roll right there, but you need some of those to go for you. Shooters bounce. Lady Red still holds on to the two-point lead as she slings it over to McNeely. McNeely's double team almost loses it. And that's going to be a jump ball. And it's going to go the Lady Cougars way. Savannah Bates with her second forced turnover tonight. She's that's, on it. That's hustle plays right there. They're going to need a lot of those. Of course. This has been sort of Norfuse's bread and butter, those hustle plays from Jordan White and Savannah Bates all year. As Natavia is going to get it at the wing. Gives it to Reagan Brown. Reagan Brown driving in. Puts up a wild shot. It's air ball. Rebound Kitchens. Clevenger is going to get the ball. She's going to be defended by Bates. Clevenger spinning. Drives in on Natavia. And that might not have been a smart decision. Natavia gets the block. And it goes right back onto Clevenger for the Northview defensive effort. Wow. Feels like we haven't been able to catch our breaths up here. And there's only been, what, 15 combined points? Here we go. Jordan White up here. McKenna gets the ball. Jordan White's going to drive in, gives it to McKenna Russell. McKenna Russell cuts, takes the deep two. It's no good. But Natavia is going to get, ooh, fight for the rebound. And that's going to be Lady Red Ball. Good move by McKenna Russell. She just 
Just rolled around the rim. Yeah. Just an unlucky roll right there. And like I said, Northview probably didn't expect Cock County to show out like they did with their student section tonight. It's a crazy environment right now. McKenna defending uh, Clevenger as, ooh, a lot of contact right there. That's going to be Destiny Reese drawing the foul on McKenna Russell. Yeah, it was a really good play by Reese right there. She went up. McKenna brought down her arms. She draw, drew the contact. Goes to the line for two. Or looks, no, she's throwing it in from the baseline. Looks like we're going to have a substitution. We're going to have Cameron Brown come in for Savannah Bates. Northview maybe getting a boost of offense with that substitution. It looks like Northview's going to stay in a 2-3 zone. We're going to have Kitchens defending. Ooh, switch on there. Cameron Brown defending Clevenger. It's going to go back to Kitchens. Northview playing good defense right now. Not making it easy for Cock County as Clevenger's going to get it. That open three is going to be, ooh. Jordan White not afraid to fight for that one. We'll stay with Cock County. That's, that's a good play right there, just being bringing the intensity, and that's what you need if you're the Lady Cougars right now is bringing the intensity. And Here we go, Carmichael is going to get it, and McKenna Russell is going to poke that one away. Gets it into Cameron Brown. She recovers it. Cameron Brown, the open three. No good. Natavia with the rebound. And she's going to draw the foul right there. It's probably going to be Northview to inbound right here. A lot of contact, physical basketball right now. Just under a minute to play. Northview down by three. As Northview gets it in to Reagan. Reagan puts up the mid-range shot, no good. Reagan gets it back, puts it up. No good. Really good play design. Two great shots for the Lady Cougars. Reagan just couldn't capitalize. As Lady Red just go right back down, and Abby Neth Nethammer gets the bucket to go. Great pump fake on that one. And then full she, court press you really never see because it's so dangerous. Lady Red has built a five-point lead, looking to build on it with about 30 to go in the first quarter. Completely different team than what we saw a couple of nights ago. The Lady Red are going to run it out for the last second shot. Kitchens defended by White, spinning, trying to find the lane. She's going to drive in, throw up a tough shot, and Northview's going to come away with the rebound with about one second left. Jordan White with a deep three, nails it! That's I the think, momentum swing that the Lady Cougars needed. I think that's Jordan White's second buzzer beater of the postseason. And oh, wow. Basketball's about momentum, and that might be the momentum swing that the Lady Cougars I mean, you, needed. You feel like you've done everything. You've done everything defensively to stop that from happening. And sometimes you can't teach that, you know. Great Jordan. court vision by Reagan, too. Jordan chucks up a shot from about 40 feet out. Nails it. That was awesome. Despite the shot, Northview. We see it right here. Off one foot and everything. Wow. That's a great shot. Despite the big shot, Northview still down by two. But like you said there, momentum. May have changed sides on that play. The student section got pretty pumped up for that one, but Northview, a couple of turnovers. Got to capitalize on uh, offensive rebounding. But, wow, what a game we got to going on tonight. 20 first quarter points. And it's just been electric so far. We're going to have McKenna to inbound. Jordan White's going to be defended by Kitchens. Jordan White looking. Screen set by Natavia. We go Jordan dishes it to Cameron. Cameron's going to cut. McKenna runs it in.
Puts up the shot, no good. Natavia gets the board. And another, was that a loose ball foul on Josie? Josie with her second. They're going to have Kaylee Smith sub in for her. Kind of want to not make sure she does not end up too much foul trouble late in this game. The way it's looking, it's going to be a heck of a contest coming into the late stages. That was an awkward shot by McKenna Russell. Natavia grabbed the board and just rolled out. Josie picks up her second. There you go, Clevenger finds Kitchens. Norfew pumping up the intensity here on defense. As Reed's going to get it, thinks about shooting it, drives in on Kaylee, and it rolls right off her foot. Small little mental error there, but that'll cost you. Norfew able to take advantage, regain possession. Norfew down two, seven minutes to go in the second quarter. No need to panic, but kind of want to get this game tied up. Zatavia goes for a tumble, and Jordan puts up a shot and doesn't go in. And Northview. Northview is getting the second chance opportunities. They're just not converting on them. That's what I'm saying. you got to capitalize as McNeely, her shot gets blocked, and that's what me and Richard were talking about last night. Northview has such a deep rotation in that post position, and I think we're going to start to see how much of a benefit that is. Jordan White maintains the dribble on that one. Looks like we're going to have a substitution here soon. Savannah Bates looks to be checking in soon as Latavia grabs that wild pass, and it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to maintain Northview ball, but see what's good. Savannah Bates is going to check in for McKenna Russell. And we're going to have Kaylee Smith to inbound. But yeah, Nor you know, Northview. Where they have the advantage on Cock County for sure is their rotation is so much deeper. And that's still going to be Lady Cougar ball, but. See Clevenger and Kitchens. They've been playing for quite some time right now. Norfew, such a deep rotation, able to keep bodies rested. As Jordan White finds Cameron Brown. Cameron Brown over to Kaylee Smith. Kaylee looking. Finds Natavia, and Natavia takes the, th the two. It's no good. And the refs are calling this every possession, it seems. Yeah, they're being kind of whistle happy, but. It's kind of wild when you go into a game, you know. You never really know what the refs are going to be like because on Monday, you know, seemed like they were letting them play a physical game. And tonight, kind of the opposite. Not getting away with much here. Still remains a two-point lead for the Lady Red. No points have been scored yet. I don't know what's going on. Some sort of conversation with the refs. And the Lady Red's going to run it the other way. Kitchens going to be picked up by Jordan. Kitchens gives it to Reed. Reed. Over to Carmichael. Carmichael to Clevenger. Clevenger takes the three. It's good. Clevenger showing her strength. Knocked down two threes in this game. That was a two. She's Ooh. got seven. She's leading the whole game, I'm pretty sure. Jordan White looking. Finds Savannah Bates. Savannah Bates driving in. Takes the mid-range shot. It's good. It's a good Rides. take. That's way Great way to be patient and find an open shot and not forcing something. As Reed takes the wing, the, the corner three, it's no good. Northview almost gets the rebound. It's rebounded by uh, Clevenger. Clevenger blocks Carmichael. And Northview kicked ball, I think, right now. Two-point game still. Not much time has elapsed in this uh, second quarter. Let's see, Lady Red they wanted to expand it going into the second, but there's not much room going room to give. As Kitchens driving in, gives it to McNeely. McNeely defended by White. Back to Kitchens. Kitchens takes the three. It's up and no good. Rebound to Kaylee Smith. Jordan White the other way with it, looking finds Reagan Brown. Reagan spots up, shoots the three. It's no good. 
Savannah Bates, oh, loses the rebound. Lady Red gets it, Kitchens runs it up the court, defended by White. And a rare sight to see that Reagan hasn't scored at all in this, in this game. Carmichael drives in on Alber, Alber, great defenses. Looks like Reed got the rebound, went up for the shot, got fouled by Kaylee Smith. She's gonna get to the line on that one. Still close basketball, but right now the foul, uh, the foul competition, Norfu's not winning that one. You gotta feel that somebody's gonna pull away here, here soon. As Reed airballs the free throw, and we're gonna have a couple of substitutions here. McKenna Russell checks back in for Kaylee Smith. <laughs> And Reed knocks down the second. Three-point lead for the Lady Red. Jordan White runs it up the course, sprints it down, and it's picked off by the Lady Red. Clevenger looking, defended closely, gives it to Reed. See what Reed can do here. Drives in on Russell, throws up a wild shot. Despite the trip, not able to get there as Brown gets it, defended by Clevenger. Brown over to White, White looking. Gives it to Bates, Bates stops, gives it to Russell, Russell driving in, gives it to Alber, Alber puts the shot up, it's good. Great offense by McKenna and Natalia right there. Almost forget they're a freshman and a sophomore. This is really good chemistry by both of them. McKenna just know where the Tavia is going to be at the right As time. As Clevenger takes a drive in, no good. Rebound Russell. Jordan White the other way with it. Norfew still down by one, looking to close this deficit. N Natavia holds on to it somehow. Gives it to Savannah Bates. Savannah takes the shot, and it's blocked. Carmichael with an impressive block. It's going to maintain Norfew ball, and we're going to have Cameron Brown come in for... Jordan White. These girls are hustling, not letting any easy shots happen all night. Jordan's As been having Jor really productive. Savannah minutes. Bates knocks down the mid-range shot to take the lead. Here we go. Northview has the lead for the first time in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Carmichael gonna get it defended by Natavia. Natavia. Great defense right there. Loses the rebound. And that's not good because Lady Red maintained the possession here. And Carmichael just jacks up an easy two to take the one point lead. Cameron Brown now running the point. Running up the court. Defended by Kitchens. Brown's looking, finds Russell. Russell trying to drive in on Carmichael stops and slings it. It's picked off. And Lady Red go the other way with it and score. Can't make that cross-court pass. Norfield just kind of making careless passes and it's leading to other points right now. That's kind of the bad thing. Still 2.21 remaining. You gotta admit, this game has been one of the best we've seen all postseason. I mean, it's been close, interesting, and that team really giving an inch right now. Lived up to what we expected. Last game, the Lady Red almost came back down like 16 in the fourth quarter and almost beat them for the district championship. Now they're in the regional championship, and it's a whole different environment. Yeah, I mean, after losing in the district, you know, Lady Red definitely had something to prove, wanting to play with a lot of ambition and intensity tonight, but Lady Cougars down by three right now. Got to figure something out. Cameron Brown running up the court, defended by Kitchen, gives it to Alber. McKenna going to drive in, put up a shot, no good. It was a very risky pass. Right there. Felt like McKenna could have 
gotten that rebound, but kind of just stuttered as Kitchens takes the deep three and knocks it down. That's, a, that's an impressive shot. You know, you got to have a lot of confidence to take a shot like that. It feels like Norfew's not really shot the three well tonight as Reagan Brown misses that one. Reagan tried to, tried to come back with a three of her own, and she just misses as she doesn't have a point in this game, which is a very rare sight to see. Northfield down by six. A minute 40 remains. Got to pump it up on the defensive end right now as Cock County's really scoring at all ends. Clevenger's going to get it defended by Brown. Clevenger over to Carmichael. Carmichael scores. Northfield can't let this thing run away from him with a minute in, a, in the left in the second half, or first half. Got to find something here. Cameron Brown defended closely. Gives it to Alber. Alber, as McKenna Russell gets the and one. That's close. Using her length to her advantage and knocks down that contested layup right there. She looks to convert this and one. We talked about it earlier, that's a momentum trifter, you know, it really is. And McKenna Russell puts up the free throw and knocks it down. She converts the M1, that's, you know, we talked about momentum swings. And it's a big play right there. Closes their deficit to five. It's kind of crazy, it, you know. Lady Red kind of just ran away with a Pretty sizable lead, but Norfew not out of it by any means. Norfew trying to get a defensive stop here as Clevenger steps through, puts up the shot, and that's going to be Lady Cougar ball. 46.5 to go. You're able to score right here. You kind of turn it into a one possession game going into halftime. Very happy with that. You know, you always want the lead going into half, but after a half, the Lady Red have played, you know, it's, it's a good thing to be down one possession. Jordan White looking, finds Cameron Brown. Cameron thought about it, drives in though, no good. And that's gonna be another foul. Just, I don't like these calls down low. I think you gotta let the girls play physical, fight for the rebound a little bit, but all of our posts right now, at least one or two fouls right now. It feels it's getting called every other possession, but Lady Red the other way with it. 15 seconds left. Probably going to hold on, try to extend their lead going into half. Clevenger driving in, puts a shot up, no good. It's rebounded by Lady Red, and they score. And Jordan White's going to get it, try to put up another circus shot, no good. And the Lady Cougars will go into the locker room down by seven points, but you got to look to find ways to capitalize on these second chance opportunities and slow down the Lady Red with their three ball and just got to figure something out. We'll be back with second half action in 10 minutes.
Welcome back to the second half of the Lady Cougars and the Lady Red. And I'm joined with Thomas Costner as we're, we're about to start the second half of this gritty and, and high intensity regional championship game. And Thomas, what'd you take from the first half? Uh, Northview really couldn't get a lot going on offense. Uh, really wasn't hitting open shots. Brown and Brown both scoreless, not really a winning recipe. If you're Northview, you gotta get somehow get them involved early here in the second half. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Clevenger has really been knocking down some big shots for him in the early half. Yeah, she's, she's on fire right now. You know, Jordan, she's been making a lot of great plays like she usually does, and we're ready to start the second half of this regional championship game as McNeely passes it off to Kitchen. She's going to bring it up, and she's going to get trapped at the, free, at the half court line as Clevenger drives past Savannah Bates. She kicks it out to Reed at the three point line, guarded heavily by Cameron Brown to Kitchen. Jordan White is shadowing her, and it's going to be a kickball violation. And it's going to stay with Cock County's ball. Coming out in zone, hopefully forcing some deflections, maybe even some, tur some turnovers ar early here for the Lady Cougars. And like me and Dylan said, the center, the posts for the Lady Cougars have all been in foul trouble. So won't be surprised if they go to a smaller lineup. As Kitchen gets the ball to Clevenger, she's going to drive baseline, kicks it down low to Carmichael, and it's going to be good. Over Josie is Jordan White's going to bring the ball up, slow it down. She's going to call for Savannah Bates. Kicks it to Josie, to Savannah Bates. As Jordan's going to set a little pick. Jordan White's going to look for Josie down low, but she can't find her. Reagan deep three, and it's going to be good. I mean, that's that's one way to hit your first shot of the game from the logo. Looks like a busted play, and Reagan just pulled up, and she trusted it. As Kitchen's going to drive on Jordan White, she's going to pass it to Clevenger. She's going to lose the ball. She's going to get trapped. And it's going to be a travel call as it's going to go back to the Northview Lady Cougars. You know, some calls didn't really go Northview's way in the first half. Uh, it was kind of both ways, some missed calls. So uh, looks like the refs are going to try to clean it up this half already White early. Picks it to Cameron Brown at the three, back to White. Jordan White's working slow. She's going to pass fake to Cam Brown. Kick it to Josie in front of the free throw line. It's going to be no good off the back of the rim. As Clevenger gets the rebound, she's going to pass it to Reed at the three-point line. She's got Carmichael open down low as she misses the pass. McNeely bounces off the back of the rim. It's no good. Rebounded by Cam Brown. Kind of thought. That one's going to drop for a second. Not really much of a closeout right there by Brown. Coach Shelley calling the play. Jordan White's moving through traffic. Gets it down low to Josie. She's going to go up over, over two, and she's going to get fouled and go to the line for a two. She's going to be fouled by Carmichael, it seems. Yeah, Northview down by six here. Early into this third quarter, hoping to uh, cut that lead here with Horner. She misses the first one. Got to hit your free throws if, you, if you're north of you and you want to come back and win this game. No, it's the tail oldest time. Free throws, free throws, free throws. Second one is good. It's good. As it's a five-point lead for the Lady Red. As Northview has came out and cut the lead down a little bit. Clevenger, she's going to kick Carmichael down low. She gets a pick. Carmichael down low. She splits two defenders, and it's going to be no good. Scoop layup is rebounded by Josie Horner. Reagan Brown at the three gets it, gets it to Jordan White. She's going to dribble it. She's going to dribble it out, call a play. She's going to drive and get, get a screen from Cam Brown. As Reagan Brown is at the three, she's going to drive, kicks it back to Jordan White. Gonna drive in, kicks it back out to Savannah Bates for the three, and it's gonna be an air ball. And she crack it. Two on down one here court to Shakira Reed. It's gonna be good, as you said, two on one. Looks like Bates went to crash. Her man ran the opposite way and was wide open, streaking down the court. 
tough drive right there. Off the backboard for, for Reagan Brown, it's going to be no good as Clevenger is going to get trapped. Full she court, break. she breaks the trap. She's going to set it back up. The kitchen's going to set a screen to Kitchen. She's going to work on Savannah Bates being pressured at the half court. Bounce pass to Reed as Josie's playing off on her. She's going to shoot the three. It's going to rip. It's going to roll in and out. And it's going to be no good. White is going to bring the ball up. Josie's going to shoot the three. It's deep good. Right. That's deep right there. We've been talking about momentum swings, and that's a, that's a big pickup if you're Northview. Sure is. Haven't, shots haven't been falling. Clevenger misses the pass. It's going to be picked up by Carmichael, and the Lady Red are going to call a timeout. I mean, this is a, I wouldn't say picture perfect, but this is a really good start right here to this second half if you're Northview. You're getting some momentum. Your players are starting to hit shots. I mean, you just got to keep playing consistent and just chipping at this lead. Defense came out and really brought the intensity. They played good. Well, I feel like I feel like their defense really has played good the whole game. It's just offense that's kind of needed to create something. I feel like their offense is starting to, you know, kind of come together and they're starting to hit their shots like I'm saying. They're starting to come together, yeah. Josie's got eight. Reagan, you know, she's, she's contributed a lot. You know, not just scoring, she's been making hustle plays. Yeah, Jordan White's also been playing fantastic. I mean, I feel like she doesn't get enough credit. She's a Northeast main ball handler, has been this whole season. She's just great at what she does. As Kitchen's going to bring the ball up, get a screen from Carmichael. She's going to take a deep three, and it's going to be no good. Carmichael missed time to jump, and Reagan Brown's going to get the ball in a fast break. She's going to be fouled and go to the line for two. Reagan Brown said, I'm going to take this one right to the basket. Doesn't matter how many people are in my way. Looks like they're going to get it on the floor. So White's going to inbound it. She gets it down to Josie. White's right going to drive, and it's going to be a pull-up jumper. It's going to be good. Great play design by Coach Shelley right there. Jordan White banks it in. As White got trounced, and there's no call. Jordan White's going to set it up. Cam Brown's looking for the pass at the three. Latavia's going to set a screen for Josie. Right to Natavia. Jordan's going to shoot the three. It's going to be no good. Cam Brown fighting for the rebound. And she she steals the ball. She's gonna, oh, I she's thought she was going to pull it. Pass it back to Reagan Brown. She's going to drive she's in. She's in open way. lane. It's going to be no good. Natavia falling away. It's going to be no good. Oh, <laughs> I think, yeah, that's just, that's just not a very good call. Uh, there's no getting on that one, but it's going to be Lady Red basketball here. As it looks like North is going to try to bring some pressure here, try to get this ball back. That was, that was a call. As yeah, I mean, that was a bad one, but. Kitchen is going to bring the ball and gets it to McNeely as Cam Brown pressuring. Natavia. That is also a terrible Natavia. call. That's going to be a foul on those are, those are back to back terrible calls. Now, I love referees and they have a very hard job, but. Not going Northeast way right here. Kind of need to get the momentum back right here if you're Northeast. She misses the first. Misses both. Misses ball, both. Doesn't, ball doesn't lie, and the nice. ball's going to go out of bounds. Oh, what a save. What a save by Natavius. Jordan White's going to try to draw contact. He's going to wait for him to get down there. And, oh. Josie's going to hesitate to shoot the three. <laughs> that one would have been from <laughs> Bucky's. <laughs> Jordan White's going to set the play up. This Cock County student section, you know, they traveled really well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like 95% of the population. 
Reagan Brown sees a lane. Oh, it's wow, off the backboard. It's good. Great shot, shot by, by Brown. Brown. Great awareness Gotta to get see back. the lane. And that's bottom. <laughs> As Kreidinger hits the three. Pot County's trading two for threes. I'm pretty sure they'll take that trade any day of the week. It's a five point Lady Red lead. Josie's gonna set the screen. As Jordan White's gonna be fouled and it's gonna be and an one. one. That's a tough lay by Jordan White. It is good drive. Getting through the contact. White's going to the line to shoot one, see if she can cut this lead down to two. That'd be huge here. She's going to make it. She's going to convert the and one. Looks like we're going to have Smith coming in. She's going to check in for Natavia. Gonna bring the ball up. Northeast switching to man. Oh wow, and she just lost it. Looks like it's great defense right there. Looks like a little miscommunication in the Lady Reds offense leads to turnover. Northeast ball down two. Starting to get loud in the gymnasium. The Kodak Coliseum. Jordan White's gonna bring the ball up. Looks like they're gonna run that same exact play that they just did. Another foul call. Jordan White is just getting to the bucket with ease right now. This is, you know, you you love if you're a head coach, you love to see your point guard starting to take over at any point in the game. Jordan White. First one is good. First one is good. As it's a one point Lady Red lead. Second one and rolls, rolls out. In and out. Still Tough a one-point point Lady Red lead as Cameron Brown's going to trail. They're going to trap her at the baseline. It's going to be good. They're getting, they're getting quality head. looks right now. Cock County as they extend their lead out to four. <laughs> Jordan White looking, looking for something. She kicks it out to Reagan Brown at the deep three. She's going to drive in, kick it out to Cam Brown. Screen by Reagan Brown. Pick, picks it to Jordan White. Kaylee Smith grabs a board, and it's going to be no good. And they're going to push it up the court. Reed drives in. Off. It's no good as Shakira Reed gets her own rebound. It's going to be a foul on Kaylee Smith. And that one, she tried to get the ball out of Reed's hands. Grabbed her arm. Unfortunate turn of events, but it's going to stay Lady Red basketball. Lady Red have it up top. Carmichael guarded by Reagan Brown. Back to New Thammer. Little zone right here. They're triple teaming her. Carmichael. It's going to be no good. It's going to be Lady Cougar basketball. It's going to be Lady Cougar basketball, as Thomas said. The Lady Cougars are down by four. Let's see if they're going to hold for the last shot right here or try to, try to get as many possessions in before the end of the third quarter. Oh, it looks Reagan like Brown's gonna she's going to fire. It's wow. Gonna be no good. Smith had a great position. He just took a bad bounce off the rim. A spin nice move spin move. That's going to be a foul. She's going to get fouled. It's going to be Brown's, Brown's first foul. Brown still yet to uh, score in this game. She was the Lady Cougars district MVP of the whole district tournament. So, I mean, I feel like you you got to get her going somehow. I mean, you got to find ways to get her going in this fourth quarter if you're North U. She's been, she's really been the leader this postseason for the Lady Cougars as Clevenger makes one of two. Going to go up to five. They have about six seconds left as White's going to try to take it all the way, and she does. It's going to be no good. Bobbled around. And Cock County goes and 
to the fourth quarter with a five point lead of 38 to 33. Leading the number one seed, Northview Academy Cougars. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty third quarter. The refs got, you know, they started, started calling some, started calling some. Well, there's just, uh, yeah, was, there's lots of stuff to have in that quarter, you know. Off the double team and traps, they would leave corner threes wide open. Cock County got some really good quality looks and they were able to knock them down. Seems like that's been the difference in the game tonight. You know, Cock County's really knocked down almost, almost all, every quality look that they've had from three. And Northview just really hasn't been able to do that. Northview's been getting some quality looks. They just haven't been able to knock it down. Two Northview, lots of time left in this game. Just got to... Like I said, he's got to keep chipping away at it. He's got to keep chip, chipping away in the final eight minutes here. And if Northview wins, they host Substate. So a lot of yeah, big stakes on the line. Substate sectionals, whatever you want to call it. Northview's been down, uh, I think, if they, well, they're automatically going, but they've already been Already been to two, this will be their third. Cam Brown's gonna get it, get the screen from Kaylee Smith. She's and gonna see a wide see, open lane. It's gonna be no good off the side of the rim. And that's just unfortunate right there. That's a great look. This Clevenger's gonna pass the kitchen, guarded by, by Jordan White. Screened by Carmichael, Jordan gets over it. Another screen by Carmichael. This kitchen is not giving up this ball. She loses it. It's going to be a tie-up. She's going to stay with Cock County. It's going to be the Lady Red Ball. Pitch is looking. the inbound. Savannah Bates swats it away as Clevenger gets it back. It's going to be off the back of the rim and Offensive no good. Offensive rebound is no good. Kaylee Smith gets a block and a rebound. Is Backside Savannah Bates. Here we go, Cameron, Cameron Brown. Gonna For three and she three. knocks it in. It's going to be good. And like you said, she's got to get going. And her first points of the game are big ones. Big time. She cuts it down to a two-point lead. Big time shot right there by Cameron Brown. I mean, you really... It was just a matter of time before she got involved in this game on the scoreboard. And uh, she got involved at the perfect time. Not even a minute into the fourth quarter. Northeast cut the lead to two. What do you, what do you think Northview needs to do in this uh, fourth quarter, you know, kind of to secure, secure this lead and secure the game and secure a host for the sectional game? They need to have more defensive possessions like they just did. They gotta start finding open looks. Like you said, Cameron Brown's gotta start getting, gotta get going, get going quick. Uh, low scoring game, you know, we don't really see the slow points. You know, with Northview, but it's been a really good defensive game so far. And we'll see what happens. White defending. Nice read. Gets it down low to Carmichael. It's going to roll around the rim and going to be good. I mean, Carmichael's not going to miss too many of those whenever she catches it right there at the block or any any lower than that. Kevin okay, Brown gets the dump off and she's going to drive in. It's going to be stolen by Carmichael, but Jordan White gets the ball right back. As Carmichael's going to go fast break, it's going to be an and one. Little back and forth action right there leads up to a run out and and one play by Carmichael. It's going to be a six point Lady Red lead barring this free throw. It's going to be no good as Reagan Brown gets the rebound and Jordan White's going to push it up the court. She's going to stop and find Savannah Bates at the three, and it's going to be off the front of the rim and no good. This Clevenger's going to yep, bring the ball up the court. Going to be guarded heavily by Cameron Brown. Looks like they're going to try to bring up some of the pressure right here to try to force a turnover here. Down by six in the fourth. 
Reed's gonna get it to McNeely. He's gonna hesitate. He did it to Pitchin. Pitchin is working on Jordan White as Reed gets the ball and she's gonna dribble it out. She's gonna find a lane. McNeil is gonna shoot the corner three and it's gonna be no good. As Carmichael gets the rebound, it's gonna be good. Second chance points right now. Clark County's really had a lot of them all game. As Joseph's gonna get the ball at the free, at the free throw. Jordan White's looking to get the ball down low to Josie. Like it was. It's going to be the third on Horner. It's going to be Josie's third. Looks like she kind of hooked her, didn't let her get around to try to go for the steal. Pitch is going to bring the ball up, and Jordan's going to meet her at half court. As Carmichael has the ball and gets it to her. Reese. Down low to Clevenger. A great defense by Reagan Brown. And she forces the turnover. Physical defense right there. Forcing the turnover. Lady Cougars down eight here. About five minutes to go in the fourth. They need. They need offense right here. Get it to Josie Horner. She's looking for somebody. Can't find anyone. Gets it to Cam Brown. To Reagan Brown. Down low to Josie. Good that's spinning. a big move. You gotta tell them to get up. She wants ball pressure right here. That's a foul on Jordan White. That is. I don't think that's a really smart foul. Even if there was a little contact that's like 40, 40 feet away from the basket. I mean, yeah, a, yeah, a steal would be great, but pull up. No Another good. offensive rebound for Cock County here. That's, I mean, that's been the moral of the story here late, just offensive rebounds right here by Cock County. Northview needs to clean it up on the glass right here if they, they want to have a chance down the stretch. Down low to Reagan Brown. It's going to be a foul call on McNeely. Like I said, inconsistent tonight with some of the uh, whistles, but it's Down going to be a wide open, wide open layup for Brown. Brown. It's going to be off the backboard and good. That's a good play design. Yep, she was wide open. Cuts the lead to six. Seems like Northeast been with him too multiple times tonight, but just seems like they just can't get over, get over that hill. For Northview, I mean, like you said, they gotta string together some stops. They gotta score some buckets. They just, they just gotta hit shots too. Yeah. How do you think the offense has looked tonight? Offense has looked. No, it's not really looks like what we've seen from the Lady Cougars. Uh, you know, Reagan Brown, she hasn't scored. And you know, you can't really rely on two people scoring, but you know, whenever Reagan scoring five, you know, your district MVP is scoring five, that's a huge part. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that they haven't looked good tonight, but they've just kind of like looked like scrambling out there, kind of. Just really not. Looks like their lack of communication really on offense and it's just led to some missed shots, some turnovers. And especially on the glass, the glass has not really been pretty for Northview tonight. Lots of offensive rebounds down here late in the fourth quarter has allowed second chance Cock County points. Yeah, as Kitchen's gonna bring the ball up. And Jordan White's gonna guard her heavily. Clevenger gets the ball with her handoff. She's gonna drive. Great recovery by Reagan Brown getting off the screen. She's going to pass it to Reese at the free throw line. It's going to be no good. Rebounded by Cam Brown. She's going to push it up the court. She's going to take it. Oh, away. wow. She lost She's it. She's going to lose the ball. It's going to go back to the Lady Red. No substitution in for the Lady Red. 
Looks like McNeely's going to come out. Nathan is going to check in for McNeely. There's going to be a foul call on Reagan Brown. It's going to be Lady Red basketball here under the under the under their own basket. Kitchen's going to try to find someone. She's going to kick it to Nathan. Trying to draw offensive foul there doesn't work. She ends up on the floor, but it's going to be in Brown's hands. Brown to see if she's going to push it or slow it down. She slows it down. Brown's, Brown's going to drive, drive, and she's, she's going to get it to go. Forward. Four Looks point cool. game. Four point game here for the Lady Cougars. Still have that ball pressure on. She's going to swing it up. Carmichael's Michael's going to post up. Natavia going to kick it out to Clevin. She's going to be heavily guarded by Cam Brown. Carmichael Michael sets a screen. Cam gets over it. Reese is going to get it at the three-point line. Kitchen gets the ball. Kitchen's a really good ball handler. This is that's who you want the ball in the hands of here late in the game. As Horner's showing some uh, some ball pressure. So is Natavia. It's a steal by Natavia. It's going to be a foul call on Clevenger. And that was a great play by Natavia. Really was. Really, really starting to get physical here late in the game. Refs kind of just letting it go here, both sides. That's going to be Cock County's second foul of the quarter compared to Northeast four. Jordan's going to get the inbound pass. Cam's going to shoot the three. It's going to be no good. That's going to be an offensive foul, that is. It's going to be a foul on the savior. Yeah, just jumped through the back of Carmichael right there, I believe it was. It's going to be two shots from now on for the Lady Red. Five to two. That's Latavia's third. It's her fourth. Oh, fourth. Uh, I'll, I'll say they probably let her foul out before they put Bates back in. First one's good. Sends the lead to five. Still two possession game. Even if she makes this one, it's still two possession game here for Northview. Second one is good, six point Where's lead. Now as soon as they get it down below six, just something happens, it's a play of momentum. I don't know what it is, but six is where they're sitting at right now with about two and a half minutes left as Bates goes into the scores table. Cam tries to get it down low to Josie. She's gonna fumble the pass. She's gonna go back to the Lady Red. Clevenger's going to get the long pass. Going to be wide open. She's going to get pressured, so double team. Going to try to drain a lot of clock here. And Carmichael's going to get it and drive in on Natavia's. That's a another good shot. It's another offensive rebound. And smart coaching by the Lady Red coach to call it full timeout. Right there, kind of get everyone settled. Another offensive rebound by the Lady Red. I don't know how, I think I've said that about 25 times here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, offensive rebounding hasn't been good for the Lady Cougars. As of late. It's a, uh, I feel like that's really the only thing that is given the Lady Red this lead right here is just second chance points here in the fourth quarter. Lady Red will get the ball underneath their basket. Chance to get up to an eight point lead, maybe even a nine with an open three here from one of their guards. As we see our live stream sponsors on the screen, and we want to thank everybody for helping us continue to do this. Let everybody watch the sport whenever they can't make it. Yeah, it's very thankful and just to be able to, you know, come back and watch watch these games, you know, later on. 
It's just a real blessing as she's going to be foul. Low to Reese. It's going to be a foul call on Reagan Brown. She's going to get two shots. She's going to miss the first. Got a box out here if you're Northview. Cannot allow any more offensive rebounds in this game. Definitely not. Definitely not any more second chance points. Second one's she no good. This is a second. And Savannah Bates grabs a rebound. She's going to get it up to Jordan White. Two minutes left here in the game. Down six. Savannah Bates going to take the corner three. And, and it's, it's good. Clear. Net timeout. Net timeout. Second one of the night, I believe. Second net time out of the night, I believe. Good shot by Savannah Bates. Gets him to within three here. Great shot right there by Bates. Got to play great defense. You got to. Looks like they're going to set a little back screen coming up. Carmichael's going to catch it. Clevenger's going to bring it up the court. Spin move on Reagan Brown. She's going to try to drain the clock. Gets right by Kitchen's Brown. Gonna drive by. She's going to lose the ball. Jordan White grabs the re grabs Jordan the White steal. gets fouled. Caught County Faithful is not happy right now. And I definitely, I, can, I do say I, I agree with them. Some they are definitely not happy with the way that possession ended. Definitely not. There's a lot of, thing they a lot thought, of contact, but... Like I said, I said earlier, they're not really calling it here late in the game. They're kind of letting them play. Yeah. There's going to be a foul on the way to the line. Little side inbounds play right here. Northview down by three with about a minute left. Just a little, little over a minute. Bates can't get the ball and gets it. Gets it to Natavia. He's going to get it back to Savannah Bates. To Jordan White. Going to dribble it back out. Savannah Bates. She gets it. Easy easy team. Timeout. Lady Cougars. And McKinney Russell is going to check in for defense. I mean, you're in the perfect spot right now if you're Northview. You. You've cut it to within one. Defense is playing really good right now. You need to get a stop. Force a turnover. And then... Do your thing on offense. Get it to maybe a post. Get it open layup. North, you know, they, they just have not quit tonight. Lady Red, they've gotten up. Not not really huge, but they've the momentum definitely shifted late in the game, and North just continues to just push back. And as they're down one here in the region championship, you just kind of have to think, you know, what what else do they have to do here? If, if they sub in Reese, would you would you say Reese is the person that you want to foul? Because I mean, I don't think she's that great of a free throw shooter, but you won't get that decision because she's not in the game. If I saw about percentage, I would definitely try to send. I definitely try to send uh, Reed Reed to the line. Uh, Carmichael just hit two, but she's missed a couple early in the game. I would not want to send Clevenger to the line. And uh, McNeely, I really haven't seen her uh, shoot many threes. So it looks like they're going to take a smart play. They're going to leave Clevenger open. Clevenger's going to get it to Kitchen, and she's going to be trapped. She's going to get the ball back. Gets it to Clevenger's, Latavia's. That's, yeah, that's the defense. one person who I would not want to foul. And Latavia's going to foul out of this game. Yeah. Looks like Cameron Brown's also going to come back in this game, maybe for some offense. Yeah, I think they sub. I think they rotate McKenna and Cam. Looks like it's going to be probably just either going to stay in the rest of this game or they may get, might get in uh, Smith on defense. Cleverson makes the first. Makes it a two-point lead. 
Plenty of time here for North. You do not have if she makes this, you do not have to have a three. Plenty of time. She's gonna she miss misses the it. second. She gets it to Cam Brown. Cam Cam's She's gonna, gonna drive it, it slow it, gets it to White. Northview here down two. Jordan White's getting the ball to Savannah Bates. It's down to Brown. Back Bates. Door pass to Bates. Carmichael's gonna throw it. It's gonna it. be back. Down brought court. back by Brown. About little time's taken here for Northview. Jordan White's gonna drive. She's gonna drive. She has two defenders on her. She's gonna pivot. Gives it to Horner. Oh, wow. Josie throws it away. Wow. Big play right there by Park County as Northview turns it over and they're going to have to a chance to go to the line to ice this game. Lovinger going to the line, chance for two to ice this game. Cotton County, you know, they've played, I think they've played really good tonight, both sides of the ball. She misses, misses the, the first, first one. She's going to call a timeout. I mean, you got to give credit where credit is due. Lady Red, they've, came, they've come in this environment. They've brought 95% of Cock County with them, and they've just absolutely been electric tonight. You know, just whenever you think Northview was kind of getting the momentum, they'd either hit a big shot, they'd get fouled, go to the free throw line, or they'd hit a big time three. And that's just that's just winning. That's a winning formula right there. They've also eliminated. I'm a. She has five points, but they've uh, really not allowed Cameron Brown to really break loose in this game, which has also been big. It's been very big. Carmichael's been huge. She's hit some really big time shots, but they've. Their posts is also, both their posts have been really big with their late offensive rebounds. Clevenger has been big, hitting the free throws down the stretch. Still got one more to make to make it a three point game. For Northview, this is, this is not over. Two point lead. Still have time to maybe maybe take a dribble, take a dribble, get a three off, two if you want to heave it. Another no. She misses she it. Missed the second, and she doesn't get a shot off. As your regional champions, the Cock County Lady Red, are gonna host the sub-state sectional game for a chance to go to state. Near Lady Cougars. We're going to have an away game on Saturday for sub-state. I do not know where that is going to be. But uh, unfortunate events here for the Lady Cougars as they just couldn't get it done tonight. Still, still a chance to go to state. Season not over. Big chance on Saturday. We wish them the best and uh, really still, still a great season here for the the Lady Cougars as the Lady Red are celebrating their regional championship. We thank you guys for joining us. It really was a great game. I think they're going to hand out, hand out some uh, championships right here. You guys have a blessed night.